Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon, episode number 125 of Fluke Fridays. And as you can see, I'm actually in Seattle, sitting in a hotel room. Um, I've been attending the Fluke National Sales Meeting this week, and I did an interview with an expert, Jason Axelson, and uh, about some tools for the Fluke 1777. And you're gonna, I'm gonna roll this video after this intro, and hopefully it's beneficial that you'll see some of the things that are out that Fluke has brought to market that I just learned about that I think are beneficial, especially if you already own a 1770 series. Um, it's gonna give you the ability to expand some capability. So let's jump into it. Okay, we're here with Jason Axelson from Fluke product specialist extraordinaire. So tell us a, about a couple of the new things for our Fluke 1770 series. Sure, yeah, definitely, Brandon. So uh, some of the newer features that we've added recently would be as the ability to use a BNC adapter. So as a lot of people know, we have a standard snap-in connector for our clamps. Well, it doesn't allow the use of a typical standard um, BNC style clamp. And with Fluke manufactures a lot of different clamps, and in this case, for example, the I30S, and that clamp can do DC, and it also has the ability to do AC current measurements. And so we've created an adapter that allows any of our Fluke S-label clamps to plug into the 1770 series and be used to either do AC current or also DC current by just connecting the clamp to this input here. So it's given us the ability to have a lot more accessories attached to here because Correct. this is not new, but we have a bunch of these. Yep. And this now gives this tool access to all of these clamps. Correct. All of our S-label flute clamps are supported using these adapters. And we have a matrix that's very easy to follow so customers know how to set up the tool for the ratio settings. Okay. And so, I've done a video on this before, but I haven't had one of these to show. So sure. show this. This is the new cell card adapter or whatever. So for the 1770 series platform, one of the typical customer requests is to be able to remotely gain access to data and control a product from a distance. A lot of times a local um, company doesn't have ownership of the IT infrastructure or it's out in the middle of somewhere where there is actually no wireless infrastructure to have access to. So we've actually added a cellular LTE 4G card module and you can simply insert your SIM card from your provider and it would require you essentially have a data plan set up as well as a static IP address from your provider. And it simply inserts into the side of the meter down here. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, and I think we've shown that before, but you can yeah, see there's yeah. two slots. So, One comes with the wireless already, the Wi-Fi module in and Bluetooth in there already. And yeah, then Wi-Fi module the LTE here, is the new one. GPS antenna here, and then down here where be your LTE module goes. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yep. And then there's something else on the table that I've never seen until this week. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this guy and why anybody would care about it. Yeah, definitely. So on the top of the 1770 series meter, we have an auxiliary input channel. The auxiliary input channel supports up to two devices. So in this case, this device has two standard four millimeter inputs, which support zero to a thousand volts DC. And then we also have two that support zero to 10 volt DC. And so you can custom scale the units of measure in the tool. And this is where the auxiliary port connects in. And these allow us to actually do, for example, a temperature sensor. So if we have a zero to 10 volt temperature sensor, we can scale it and have it represented and store the temperature units in the tool up to two channels. So an application I'm trying to think for that yep. would be maybe you have uh, an air conditioner is yep. kicking on or you have a refrigerated system yeah. or something uh -huh. and you want to see how the temperature outside affects right. the load or yep, correct. something else. Okay. Um, so sometimes like in a motor room, you may have an anomaly that is based on ambient temperature conditions. So you can record the operating load as well as the uh, temperature, the ambient temperature. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you, Jason. I appreciate yeah, your time. You're welcome. I hope that was helpful. I know I learned a lot of new things this week and we'll be bringing some new videos in the next couple weeks that will highlight things that I've learned here. So have a great weekend. We'll talk to you next week. Take care.